I literally picked up a grail sneaker that I thought I would never get. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I copped. Over the past couple weeks, I've been picking up a bunch of different stuff. And we're going to be going through all the GRs, PEs, you name it. And hopefully this will give you guys an update of where I'm at with current pickups. Or if you want to see any other in-depth reviews of these sneakers, let me know down below in the comment section. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get over here and get to unboxing these shoes. Because we got a good amount to go through. All right, first up, we got the Michigan Air Jordan 12 PE. Now there was two different versions of this shoe right here. You had the GR release and then you had the PE version. They did come separately when it comes to the materials a little bit, but the overall configuration when it comes to the stitching or kind of the embossment of the new buck that you see on the upper right here. So, or suede, whatever you want to call it. Either way, this is the PE version that was for the actual players. And I ended up picking these up for the collection. Wanted to add them in just because I have the nines and I have the sixes. Now I got the 12s. I still need to get like the fours, the fives, the threes, different stuff like that. But I thought this was a very clean shoe from the get go a long time ago. And once I finally had the opportunity to add these into my collection, I was like, you know what the time is finally right let's go ahead and do it so i saw these when i was at untied la last time i was out there i ended up picking these up so shout out to them again if you guys haven't use the discount code dna show that'll get you guys free shipping from their website i'll be copping kicks from them all the time i got a bunch of stuff actually not a bunch of stuff but probably like two or three pickups from them recently over the past few weeks from them so we're gonna go through everything um but yes if you guys want to see a full in-depth review of this sneaker let me know down below in the comments section and i'll make sure i get that out for you but that is my first pickup honestly one of my mm, actually i don't even know if this is one of my top this is definitely not one of my top three pickups that's in this video hmm i don't know i'll let you guys decide <laughs> um next up right here we got the gold olympic USA bear brick. I haven't even opened this thing up yet. It's still brand new. I haven't even cracked the seal. So I got the big version. Oh, I got the big version too. Now I need to get the Chicago versions as well with the gold plated version. So I really like these. I got a bear brick collection and I have probably about, I don't know, maybe like 12 to 15 bear bricks in this size. And then my first 1000% one was this one as well. So I was excited to add this into the collection and uh, I'm looking forward to putting this on display someday. Maybe when I get another like sneaker room or move, I don't know, we're, we'll figure it out. But this is definitely gonna go on display somewhere. I'll find a dope space for it for sure. So this was another pickup. I know it wasn't really a sneaker pickup, but it is kind of related to that type of stuff. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Next up, we have a cheaper item, one that I feel like was kind of slept on, but then once I got the shoe in hand, I was like, the materials, they're just like, not that good. You know what I'm saying? Like, the colorway is solid, but for some reason, the materials on these just feel like, just so cheap. I don't know what it is. Like, they tried to do that, like, cracked leather vibe, like the Amaz and different stuff like that. But at the same time, it just doesn't feel good. But the details on this shoe are really, really nice. The Chinese New Year Air Jordan 6 Low. I love Jordan 6s. That's one of my favorite models. And this colorway is honestly really, really clean. I think you can pull a lot of outfits off with it. Now, are these going to be one of the top sneakers of the year or anything like that? They're probably going for under retail, which is great because that's what I got them for. And I think... Honestly, it's just overall a clean shoe. So if you guys have these in your collection, let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. I would love to hear about everybody else's opinion, but I think that, you know, just the overall designs on the box, the elements and everything that they did with the details on the sock liner and the little add-ons, they did a really good job. Next up right here, we have one of my pickups that I was extremely happy about right here. And this is a Off-White Air Jordan 2. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen on the channel in the past, but I did pick up a pair when they first came out. I don't know if you guys know which colorway I got though. So for those that know and watch all the videos on the channel, I got the black and blue pair when they first came out. And now I have the Chicago pair right here. And oh man, these things are so clean. I've been waiting to add these to the collection. I know I was a little late, but I finally got them. Shout out to Untied LA as well. They came through in the clutch for your boy. I seen they had them and I was like, bro, y'all got a size 13? And it was like, yes, we got one size 13. So I immediately was like, I got a cop, got to have these in the collection. Just made so much sense with, I don't know. I just think these are extremely fire. I know everybody's hyping up twos and all the different stuff, but for me, yeah, these go crazy. All right, next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 13. This is a GR that 
pretty much sat and I think it's probably still available in a lot of stores, which is fine with me. I thought it was a clean colorway. I was gonna end up doing a review for you guys on this shoe and then I didn't have time. The materials on these are really honestly just not cutting it for me, bro. I didn't really feel like making a video about the shoe. At the same time, it's a cool colorway, I get that. But just overall, I wasn't too excited and happy about this one. So I thought I was gonna keep these uh, for the collection, but I might not, I don't know. So if you guys do want these, let me know down below in the comment section. I might end up giving them away or selling them for the low or whatever, I don't know, we'll figure something out. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section and we can make a final decision if I give the shoe away or if somebody wants to buy them or whatever, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it all out. But either way, this was one of my other pickups from the past couple weeks and i just you know it was just another pickup like it wasn't something that made me super excited i was just planning on making a video now these these in particular i was very excited about and i never made a video i literally i'm slacking bro i should definitely make a review and just talk about my memories and everything from this sneaker right here the citrus air jordan 7 uh, I've had these, they've just been sitting in the corner. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make the video, I haven't had time. Oh, I'll make the video, I haven't had time. And then it's like, man, everybody's sleeping on this shoe, it's sitting on shelves, nobody cares about it. I wonder if they even wanna see the review or not. Maybe, I'll, I don't know, I'll do it. I'll do, and then next thing you know, I didn't make the review. So now at this point, here you guys go. I have this shoe, I added it to the collection. I'm excited to have these. These have so many memories when it comes to the first pair for me wearing them back in high school and everything like that. So for me, this is one of the, dope uh retros to come out again and see it all happen again we kind of get that each year with certain models you know we got the raging bull fives and the lightning fours and different things like that kind of retroing again over the past couple of years and stuff so to see this one come back out made me very very happy i was excited that not that many people wanted them so it made it easy to cop and that because of that it, it was you know a great addition to the collection and something that i was Again, very excited about. All right, next up right here, we got a recent pickup. I actually just got these a couple days ago. This is my third pair, uh, but these are worn, so it made so much sense because I was like, great, now I can actually wear these ones. I know everybody, oh, where are your shoes? Well, it's easy if you got a clean worn pair already. Like, we can talk about that later, but either way, <laughs> I got another pair of Travis Scott highs right here. The prices are going down a little bit. I think they're getting here goes the argument in the comment section. I think these are getting a little bit more affordable seeing that the price is going down a little bit. And some of the low tops are worth more than these now, which is even crazier. So I don't know, it's just very interesting, but I got these for a really good deal. It was something I couldn't pass up. It only made sense. And I was like, you know what? I'm copping, I gotta get them. So here you go, Travis Scott, high, uh, Mocha, we all kind of know and everybody's seen these before. So I get it, I get it. But let's take it to the next shoe because this one, this one right here, these next three, four, man, we got some good pickups this month. I think these next ones right here, let me top of the list, cream of the crop. This, the Oregon Duck Man Air Jordan 5. So there's about 25 pairs of this shoe made, very, very rare, super exclusive. When it comes to Oregon PEs, this is probably one of the most rare ones out of the bunch, if not at the top of the list when it comes to rarity, uh, price, you name it, all the different things. So for me, this is a sneaker that I had in a big size, I got rid of, and then years later, cause I had like a size 15 and I got rid of it. And then years later, I've been looking and I've been looking and I've been looking and this pair comes by and Soul Steals, they like, yo, we got a pair. And I'm like, no way, bro. I need them, I need them, I need them. So we work out a deal, we ended up doing it a trade and I got the shoe, I was extremely happy. I've had these for a little bit now and I just hadn't had time to make like a full video because I didn't know the approach of the video. If you guys wanted to see a review, talk about the trade, all the different stuff. Either way, let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. This is an ultimate grail right here. Something that has me just extremely excited for i've been saying extremely excited a lot in this video but just yeah i'm just excited to have these because i had been working for so long to try to find a pair at a really good deal because this shoe right here bro a used pair is going for like 15 racks a new pair is going for like 25,000. so at this point it's like it's insane so for me to get these at what i got them for and to be able to find a pair that has been worn one time like it just all made so much sense. Again, I couldn't pass it up. It made so much sense. So if you guys want to see an in-depth review of the Duckman 5s, let me know down below in the comment section. And I would love to give you guys a full history about the sneaker, especially this one in particular. Anybody, if you know, you know. 
the number one stitched on the tongue. This is a very, very infamous pair of sneakers right here. Some people may not know, and I'm excited to educate, but this, <laughs> this shoe, this pair of shoes in particular, not only the colorway, but the exact pair of sneakers, there is a crazy story behind this shoe. So the fact that I have these in my collection, it just blows my mind. Still to this day, blows my mind. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Hey, if you're liking this video and you haven't subscribed already, what you doing, bro? Hit that subscribe button. As y'all know, Jordan brand continues to release more models. And you know me, I like to have everything. I like all the models. So here we have the Hair Air Jordan 37s. I'm gonna make it quick on these cause I don't think there's too much to say. We'll get into these later when I make a different video about them, but I had to pick these up. It only made sense. I'm like, I got all the other models. I wanna have the good colorways and everything. Because for some reason, when it comes to the higher model sneakers, yeah, they don't be like hyped up and everything, but they be like low key kind of hard to find. Like if you're looking for some 32s, 34s, 35s, different stuff like that, like sometimes you gotta pay like above retail, like at a good price just to get that shoe. So people be sleeping on it, but at the same time, it's smart to get them when they first come out. So for me, I was like, you know what? Instant cop, let's do it. I'll make some videos about them, different things like that. So I got a couple ideas for this shoe. I'll show you guys in the future when it comes to that one. Now we got two more shoes right here. We got the off-white joints. Um, which one should I do? Oh, I'm gonna do this one first because I know you guys know what this one is and this is actually a different one. So the first one right here, I finally got them y'all. I finally got them. The green off-white Air Force ones. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I was, uh, again, like I said, I was out there in LA. I saw these at Untied and I was like, y'all got a 13? And they were like, we got one 13. I was like, this is crazy. You guys are coming through in the clutch for your boy. <laughs> so I seen this and I was like, bro, I gotta get these immediately copped. Uh, great addition to the collection. I'm excited about these as well. See, I'm excited because I think, hold on, let me, hold on real quick. Cause I got the yellow pair right here and I got the green pair right here and I wanna get the blues. I still need to get the blues. We'll figure all that out. But I'm just looking forward to, not excited. I'm looking forward to completing this set. And, and I love both of these. It's very, very hard for me to pick. I post a poll and a lot of people say the green one over the yellow one. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. But again, like you know, I'm a go ducks type of guy. So yellow or the green, either one. I love them. I think these are extremely clean, simple, yet unique. And then obviously, you know, all the history and everything behind it, RIP Virgil, a legend. But I think, yeah, two great shoes. Obviously I didn't pick these ones up <laughs> recently. So let's talk about these. <laughs> Anyways, I got the green pair. I'm excited. I'm happy about these. And next, the last and final pickup over the past couple of weeks, these ones right here. So I used to have these in my collection. I traded them for these right here. I traded them for this pair. And now they came back around from a different person and they were worn like once or twice. So I was like, you know what? I got a cop because the deal was right. And it made so much sense. We got the Michigan off-white dunk. Now you guys know there were three off-white dunks. You had the green, the blue, and the red. And then we saw the 50 pack come after that. So originally got these when they first dropped. And then, well, I guess, I guess technically I originally got these when they first dropped and traded them for these. And then now I finally got these because I did want to have these, but I just liked the red pair more at the time. I still like the red pair more, but I know the green was a big favorite for everybody. Like that was their number one. And they kind of ranked them after that, but I don't know. The green one was like cool to me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about those three and the rankings and everything like that. And these are pretty much all of my pickups. I think obviously, as you guys know, my number one prize possession when it comes to these cops out of everything is going to be the Duckman Air Jordan 5. But we got the off-white Chicago Low 2s. We got the green sparks. We got some off-white dunks, some Travis's, some Michigan 12s. We had, I mean, there's some cool pickups. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it was the, the best pickups, but at the same time, I thought it was real solid. So I figured I would update you guys. I appreciate you guys always. If you want to see any other pickup videos like this, let me know down below in the comment section because I never have a chance to show you guys every single review of every single shoe that I get. So if you want to see more series like this, again, let me know. And then again, if you need to see any individual reviews of any of these shoes, let me know down below in the comment section. All right, y'all. I'll see you in another one. I'm out.
Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. All right, y'all.